Hi everybody, Pastor Cliff Mansley, Grace Community Church here in Surprise, Arizona. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, do we have a lot of stuff going on around here? Okay, maybe not as much as we had a week ago, but right now we've got some really special things happening around the church. In fact, tomorrow, which is Friday the 12th, we have a concert here at 4 p.m. We hope that you will sign up for it. And if you don't sign up for it in advance, just come on out. We have the Tremble Clefs in concert. Now, you might go, well, who are the Tremble Clefs? Tremble Clefs are a, a, a singing group from our area of people who have Parkinson's. And so they tremble a bit. But let me tell you, I, I went to that concert last year and oh, it moved my heart. This is a great way to, to celebrate Mother's Day weekend. Come out for the concert on Friday afternoon. It's gonna be a great time. I hope you'll join us. And, and uh, we've got some other things going. It is Mother's Day on Sunday after all. And so come on out. We're gonna celebrate Mother's Day here at Grace Community. And you know what? We need to remember our mothers more often. I know, I know some of us are saying, well, my mother's gone on to be with the Lord. But you know what? In our culture, we don't celebrate moms enough. We don't celebrate dads enough. We don't celebrate kids enough. So let's celebrate, all right? We're gonna have a great time Sunday morning. Uh, Memorial Day's coming up, and that's in a couple of weeks. And we're gonna have a very special service on Sunday morning as well. In fact, we'll have um, uh, Jim Lee on the trombone and Dan Reed on the trumpet and uh, it'll be a really good service of remembrance as we, uh, as we thank God uh, for those who have um, served in our armed forces, served as first responders, people who have given their lives that we might have life. So I hope that you'll make it a point to join us for that service. And maybe you can invite some of your friends who would find Memorial Day, a very meaningful um, experience. A uh, number of other things going on around here, but one of the things I don't want you to forget this summer is reading through the Bible. You're probably about the same place where I am. We're in mm, Kings, Chronicles, and Psalms uh, it, during the month of May, but uh, boy, we've got some great summer reading coming up. Make sure you're engaged in reading your Bible every day. Uh, don't, don't fail in this, friends. Eh, but you know what? Some of us do fall behind. Even your crazy pastor does. So, you know, if you need to make it up, go ahead and read some extra days or some extra on one day. Uh, build it up a little bit. You know what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be doing some mornings where all I do for three or four hours is to read the scriptures. Because I do have a little catching up from earlier on in the year, and I'm gonna do that. Um, and in, in fact, if you are interested, uh, I'm gonna have some days where I'm reading ahead. And if you wanna do some speed reading, uh, basically we're gonna be reading, I'm gonna take a few mornings during the summer where all I do is read out loud and, um, and if you want to join me in that, we can share the, the duties of, of reading in a circle. When we read the Word of God out loud, it's a powerful thing. Well, now, speaking of powerful things, some of you who are tuning in right now are snowbirds. Oh, you left us. Oh, you left us high and dry down here with all this heat. Okay, it's actually very pleasant. You left at the wrong time. Uh, but... We love you and we so appreciate the fact that God is using you this summer. He has taken you from surprise to wherever you are, some far off country like Colorado or Michigan, and, uh, and, and you are there for a reason. You're there to represent the Lord Jesus Christ and to bring the gospel to the people who are around you, friends, family, Maybe even people who aren't so friendly and aren't so much family, but we're to represent his, his love, his light, his teaching, his will, his way. So get on the stick, friends, and ask him to help you day by day to share the good news of Jesus Christ 
in meaningful ways with the people who are around you. Remember that in Matthew 28, Jesus said, go into the, all the world. And that can be translated as you go into all the world. Take the gospel, friends. Okay, share the good news. Let people know that Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And this is a season in our nation where we really are in a, a key spot right here in Surprise because we are sending out snowbirds in, uh, throughout the year. And we do get to share the gospel with people. So this is a critical time in the life of our nation. Don't fail to spread the good news with your grandkids and your kids and even people who are woke. Uh, <laughs> we don't want them broke. Um, so as we do that, I also want to remind you, we had a very powerful time of prayer for National Day of Prayer, which was on the first Thursday of May. And, and I, I just ask you, do not giving up, give up praying for our government. Don't be so cynical to say, oh, they're too far gone. No one's too far gone when it comes to Jesus Christ. If his blood can cover our sins, it can cover a multitude of other sins and has done so throughout history. So don't give up on prayer. Get on your knees. And if your knees are too cantankerous, <laughs> at least bow your head and pray, and pray, 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 pray for the souls of our politician, for, their, for godly direction, for good things to happen, for justice and righteousness to prevail, for the truth to come out about certain things which we all know about, and for good, good men and women to serve in positions of leadership in our country. Amen? And don't forget to pray for your crazy old pastor uh, because I sure need your prayers and I appreciate them. Uh, you all are so kind and so generous with me as, as a pastor. I, I love your spirit and you have always, always, always been very supportive and it means a lot to me. And you just know this, that your pastor is going to be praying for you by name this summer. So if there's something you want me to pray about, shoot me a text message or an email you know I'm going to be there, and I sure do love you, and we'll talk more soon. In the meantime, keep your eyes fixed on the skies, because Jesus is coming back.